Hello everyone, welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. This is Sinet Natariangela. Wanted to come forth to do a brief share. Wanted to talk a little bit about the subject of karma. Is there karma debt that's due? What is karma? And I reflect upon a time of my recent bout was feeling guilty about my actions towards a particular situation. Um, my son and I went to the grocery store because he was cooking. So we wanted to run in to get something, a few items real quick and come back. So we're leaving from the grocery store and a young lady runs behind us and says, you forgot this bag. I was like, well, we're in a hurry. We probably did forget it. And I didn't really look in the bag until I got halfway to the store. I was like, what did Devin pick up, you know? So I look in the bag, and it's a small barbecue and some um, cookie dough. And I was like, well, this is nothing that he would have got, but maybe he did. He had already gone, so closer to the car than me. So I get to the car, and I open the bag. I was like, did you, What? why did you get this? He's like, I didn't get that. I said, well, we need to take it back. You know, he's like, well, the people are probably gone. And, you know, it's maybe three, four, four dollars worth of anything. I said, well, we should still take it back. He said, okay. So I, instead of him going out, I was going to park, you know, closer to the store so we can just go when he runs it in. And before we could even get out of our parking spot, halfway out, a family of people surrounds our car. And this lady is looking at me saying, you know, you know that food didn't belong to you all. You're going to reap what you sow. You know y'all wrong. And she said that for about five minutes, it seems like. And we were watching them. I mean, we were in disbelief, but accepting it and feeling guilty at the same time for whatever reason. And they were just surrounding our car and looking at us. So my son finally just opens the door and hands it to her. And he, she yanks it out of her hands like, you all going to reap what you sow. You know you're wrong. God don't like ugly. And I'm looking at her, and it seems like at the time, because I felt guilty uh, for whatever reason, I guess because of how she was saying it, and it felt like she was like uh, bring upon a force of guilt and um, um, hatred towards us, really. And... Um, I felt guilty for not responding quicker um, to the situation. And my son felt bad too. And they finally um, went away from the car and went inside and we drove off and we were quiet for a while. And I asked my son, I was like, what was the lesson in this? He said, well, I really don't know because it was only four or five dollars worth of items and we were going to return it. And I said, yeah. But we were thinking about keeping it. He's like, yeah, we could have kept it out, you know. And he said, besides that, you know, the lady was like cursing us, he said, basically. And tell us we were bad people for stealing and taking their stuff. They don't even know us. It's like, true. And he said, I've witnessed and seen you pay for people's groceries, pay for people items. And I was like, yes, I have. I have paid for people's groceries, not, you know... $50 more than that. I've done nice acts of kindness without expecting anything in return. And he, she said, she was saying, basically, you're going to reap what you sow, but nobody has really done those type of things for you. I was like, that's true, but some things nice have happened to me. And he's like, well, I don't think that you have gotten the good that you reserved um, out of giving as much as you had. And that lady um, basically curse you for something you didn't even do yet. I say, yeah, that's true. But it's still a lesson to receive and understand that not all people understand what karma is. Because sometimes karma is what only another person can perceive that it is. How do you know that that person has any karmic debt at all? Or are we playing from karmic debt anyway as above so below you know our stars basically have already 
aligned out our karma and we're basically living it. And I know I've mentioned before about manifesting, but manifesting, what if it's just merely living out or professing or predicting what we've already meant to live anyway? Because as I mentioned in my manifestation video, is manifestation really real? Is that nothing happened when I want it, but it eventually did happen. And so I say all of that because Wayne Dyer mentioned once before, and I'll share a little story about a gentleman. Um, I was walking in the rain and it got the rain got a little heavier. And so one of my friends that he's, he's basically homeless, we've had the conversation, him and I, before. He sees me, he finds, um, hurries me over in the bus stop from the rain. So we sit in there in silence for a while. And um, finally, he says, you know what? I was like, what? You know, we're not doing anything. And the rain is coming down and pouring. I was like, oh, yeah? He said, yeah. We're not doing anything. We're just simply being done. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. I said, well, you know, that's a, a famous person said that quote before. And I knew in my head it was Wayne Dyer, but I didn't say it out loud. He said, yeah, I know. He's like, is that person still living? I said, no, he's not actually. He said, well, you owe me lunch. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> whatever, sure. <laughs> so I got him lunch, but the the point is Wayne Dyer with the philosophy or the thought process, I believe, is that our life is already known. And what we call as manifesting is just basically our process of dealing with what's to come and being in alignment with what's to come basically what manifestation perhaps is and we have all these philosophies and thoughts of life and we're basically all just really speculating because life in general while we're here is a learning process anyway and you know that's why i like to stay open and learn so many you know different things and explore that learning uh, or that thought process and um, that's a very interesting process as well. But the study of astronomy and astrology is very, very interesting as well. I've never studied it. And um, the, um, the dogma people basically didn't have to study it. They already knew, basically. But um, the point being is that also the other philosophy you know as below so above what if we are in control of everything and the stars are already in alignment with that and our life process is basically up to us with um going forth and manifesting and being in alignment as to how we are to accomplish life and being aligned with our stars it's all basically relevant, I believe, and which philosophy is correct. And also with mentioning, you know, um, with mentioning uh, karma, uh, perhaps it's really just ego. Because with, with this lady, uh, perhaps, you know, uh, her karma is basically her guilt of what she know about karma. And if a person has no no concept or conscious or guilt about their particular karmic debt that another person think that they owe, are they really living out that karmic debt? Is it really karma if you don't perceive it as that? And how can we say that someone's going to reap what they know when you don't really know what another person is owed, even though we all in some instances, hope that someone that does something bad to us are going to get what they reap or they sow. They're going to get it back to them because they hurt us so bad or they did this or that to us. They're going to get it back to them. And of course, you know, it's one of the universal laws. 
also. So we don't know. Well, some people say they know. But um, I know there's lots of situations as in uh, some people that do bad things. Do they really get that karmic debt back? You know, or is it ego that says that they really do? You know, and I used to tell my kids just so that they be in the consciousness of consciousness and guilt and being aware of what they do to themselves and others in nature is that you never get away with anything. You might not get it back tomorrow, today, tomorrow, three years now, from now, five years from now, but you'll get it back. Um, is that their karmic debt or is that my fear uh, base? for them to be accountable for their actions of life. Do you really get back karma as so they say they will? Just something really to think about. Or is it ego that we are enforcing upon ourselves? <laughs> and um, that lady, you know, when I go back and think about it, uh, it just really tells a lot about a person. Um, and, you know, am not in judgment of her, but she really enforced fear in me and not even really knowing me at all. But she felt in some way that we did a great harm and disservice and wrongfulness towards her and the family. I felt attacked really, you know, for one small bag and basically, that was her way of fulfilling her karmic debt, perhaps, of enforcing fear into someone else that she felt did them wrong. Anyway, just something to think about. Karmic debt. What is it that you feel that you owe? As below, so above, you're in control. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city. And I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your Sunday. Take care.